Hey guys, welcome back to my Ocarina of Time walkthrough series. As you know, we're playing the original Nintendo 64 version. Of course, we're playing it on the Nintendo Switch, wireless controller. And a lot of you might be wondering, those of you who are new, and I've just recently checked out my videos, uh, why I call them new. Well, they are. Um, a couple of months ago, I was working on this series and I was playing through, and I got close to the end, however, I was not pleased with some of my first episodes. I had some technical issues. Um, I hadn't refined my process and the overall look and, and the, the different aspects to the production itself that made for what I believe is, is aesthetically a better video. So with that being said, I finally got to a point where I was pretty proud and happy with what I was creating. And I thought, I, I, can't, I can't let this stand. I need to go back and redo it. So that's what these are. These truly are new to me. And to anyone who's seen my previous work, these are w completely new recordings uh, from the ground up. And so therefore, yeah, it's not just clickbait or anything. This is all brand new stuff. So I wanted to say that out on the outset here. Yeah, we're doing the fire temple today and it's gonna be cool. We have a big old dragon to slay at the end of this temple, a couple of fire dancers along the way and a bunch of Gorons to save. So that's kind of the gist of it. A little surprise though at the start, we're going fishing. Believe me, I've thought long and hard, do I want to actually go to that fishing pond and get out my fishing pole and try to fish on camera live in front of you guys? And I thought about it. Last time around with the old series, I had I didn't do it. This time I did. And I and you're going to see that. We're going to go fishing first, then we're going to get to that fire temple. And one last thing. As I'm redoing these, there's, a, there's an overall reason for it. I try, at least. It's, it, it's trying every day to be, do, do a little bit better To as I'm creating, recording, editing, making graphics, working in Photoshop, creating what I do for art. I try to achieve excellence. I'm always reaching towards and trying to achieve excellence in what I do uh, because there is no other thing to do. In everything in life, you will not get bad return on trying to be excellent in everything you do. So I just want to encourage you guys, strive for excellence, relentlessly pursue excellence in your relationships, school, at work, the art that we create and all the things that we do, guys, strive for excellence, go your very best and see if you can do it a step further the next time. And then the next time, the next day, the next project, whatever you're doing in life, try to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better each time. That's reaching for and striving for excellence. Do we achieve it all the time? No, of course not. Should we try? Yeah. Yeah, because you're not going to get a bad return. Striving for excellence and trying to do the best that you can do always always has good returns and secondly never returns void so i just want to encourage you guys in everything that you do be the very best you can be sounds like a slogan for a deodorant anyway with that being said thank you for being here this is the fire temple i'm loud boy we're gonna go in three two one let's go Alright, we are off to Kakariko Village to get the prize for 50 gold skull tellers. And you know where we're headed, right? So here we go. This is it. Many, many hours. Multiple dungeons. Seven long years traveling through time from a kid to now adult Link. It took that long just to get 50, but we're here. Now let's go cash in. All right, as you know, we have freed one, two, three, four, five, and I'm hoping this is it. This is it. Here's our reward. Right, 
for 50. We get a piece of heart. Which is fantastic. We, um... That's right. I was hoping it completed a container, but hey. It is what it is. So that is 50. Every, guys, we are good to go there. Not bad. So we are headed back to the Temple of Time for a very good reason. In our quest for Gold Skull Tullas, there's one that we need to get as a kid in the past. However, we also need the Song of Storms. The beautiful thing is that this time travel is bi-directional. Here we go. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you'll have to return quickly, and I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time is the Prelude of Light. You have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. There goes Sheik. Here we go, guys. You just travel back in time seven years. There are the spiritual stones that gave us access to the innermost part of the Temple of Time. The world is much better once again. If you. <laughs> what a way to state that, right? What once was, is now again. Love time travel. All right, so we are headed up to the castle. We have the Song of Storms. What's beautiful is we just got the Prelude of Light as well. And again, as Sheik said, that allows us to quickly transport straight in, right, right into the middle of the Temple of Time. Beautiful thing. You don't have to travel across Hyrule and all that kind of stuff to get there. But, as you well know, we're on a quest for the first 50. 50 odd uh, gold skulltalas. That being said, that's why we're doing this. That's why we just travel back in time. So like we did when we met the princess, this is a route that you take. 
jump right into the moat here. Swim along, collect some rupees. Right here by this tree. Okay, there's a secret little grotto down there. Let's get that Song of Storms going. It is A down up. That's it. Okay. And down we go. Okay. Also, it was critical for this place, which it, you have it anyway, right? You need bombs. Okay. This is a fantastic, fantastic little section. Uh, lots of great goodies down here. You saw those bugs running away? All right, so if you need bugs, they're here and they're still there. They're right there. Um, but because you get bombs before the Song of Storms, you already have them, right? So um, uh, let's get a boomerang. First, I'm really looking for that gold skull, Tella. Not you, sir. Let's see. Where's my next bomb of the wall? Here we go. Ah! There he is. Boomerang. One hit. Two hits. As usual, we lock on. That boomerang brings us home. Our prize. That's why we're here, of course. Right, guys? So beautiful. This is it. The secret grotto, a Hyrule Castle. It's got a gold skull. Tell it as you saw. Some other great little goodies in there. Okay, here we are at Lake Hylia. I'm gonna hop on the leaf we planted as a kid. It's now ready for us to use. Jumping off. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm going to actually try this. We'll see how this goes. It's been a while since I've been fishing. But I do know this much. Head this way. And then what you want to do is slowly, so as to not disturb the fish, go out onto the log, like so. And the biggest fish tends to be somewhere in this vicinity, to the left or right. I'm, I'm, a, I was a little off of my cast. Try that again. I don't want that one. Let's see if I can hook another one with the same lore. That'll be really cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You see I'm kind of Z-targeting? That guy looks pretty big. I want that one. But I gotta give him a try. May not be the one I wanted, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So what I do is... Holding down the button, pressing back and kind of to the left a little bit on my control stick. Trying to reel this sucker in. Okay, lost him. That's right. It wasn't quite the one I wanted anyway. Let's try... Oh, no, no. Not you. Not you. That guy's too small. You just gotta bring it in. No, don't... No, I, I don't want you. Okay. Yeah. You guys are making fun of me. All right. I see. I see the one I want. I see the one I want. Casting over him. 
I want to I wanna give this guy a try. He's been kind of apprehensive so far. Alright, by the way, I was pressing my my green button kind of off and on. Tap, 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 tap. And what that does is it gently kind of pulls the uh, tugs at the lure. Makes it look like it's live bait. And that's a, kind of the principle behind it, I think. So, alright. Sometimes this takes a while. And what you... And you never know if you might actually lose them, but sometimes you don't if you kind of stay with it. Pulling way back on my control stick, way back on my control. Oh yeah, v controller's going crazy, vibrating. Yeah, yeah, he's giving me a struggle. This is it's not a, this isn't a small one. This is pretty. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my. Come on. Wow. And th this is not uncommon, by the way. This is actually quite common, this kind of fight, from, the, especially from the big ones. Oh, I almost got him. I almost got him. I almost got him. And we're, we're pulling. We're pulling. I can't... I'm actually, like, stressed as if I'm actually holding the line. It's kind of, it's kind of funny how that works. I shouldn't be struck. All right, let's pull. let's pull this guy in. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, you are putting up a fight. You are putting up a fight. Come on. Let's bring you over here. Bring you over here. Oh my! Wow. Oh, I really hope he doesn't slip my lure at this point. This has been an epic battle with this fish. And we're, we're pulling. We almost got him. Almost got him. Wow. This is insane. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's going. He's going back out. No, no. You get in here. Get in here. Get in here. No. Oh, wow. This is. This is exactly why I debated even trying the fishing with you guys. Because it can be insane like that. And then... And then you lose them. I was like... They're all schooled up right there. I don't know which fish this is, though. Probably nothing too. And he was really interested. Fine, I'll give you a try. That's not too shabby. Seven pounds. Okay. We need bigger. Okay. That one looks pretty big. I'm going to go for that one. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a big one. You're a big one. He's got to be bigger than seven pounds. We need at least, what, 12 to 13, I believe. I'm trying to remember correctly. Oh, don't you dare get away. You need, come over here, come over here. Wow, he is strong. This guy is strong. 
he, he keeps he keeps getting ground on me. You know, pulling further away. Wow. And it's almost like I can see like blue blood or something in the water. Okay, no, 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 come on. Wow, he's strong. This is insane. This is insane. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. I can't even tell if I'm... Okay, he's getting, he's getting a little closer, he was. All right, come on. Wow. Wow, this guy's strong. He's, he's getting a little closer. A little closer. Finally. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, you're a beast. This guy is a beast. Oh, I do not want to lose him. Come on. Wow. All right. Oh, come on. Wow. I can't... Th this is a battle for the ages. This oh, don't you slip my... Don't you... Come on, please. Oh, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on. Oh my God. Oh. No, get back here, come on. Oh, come on. This guy's. Wow. He's right there, he's right here. He is right here. Oh, come on. This is insane. What? He just, he just won't come that final. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, come on. Don't, don't you dare slip. Oh yeah! Ho 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 ho! Oh! That was nuts! 20 pounds! Wow! Uh, yeah, we're keeping it. We are... Okay, wow. Can you believe that? My thumb hurts. Wow. I swear, real fishing is not as strenuous as that. I'm kidding, but that, that's crazy. Yeah, we want to weigh my fish. Whoa. This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 20 pounds. Seriously, here is your prize. And there you go. The golden scale. That's exactly what we wanted. So. Remember, we got the silver scare, scale doing the, uh, the dive in Zoro's Domain. This is the golden scale. This allows us to dive deeper. Uh, deeper than the silver scale. So. Um, we are going to call it quits for now. Because, honestly, I'm not sure I can take much more. And there he is. That's our fish. Oh, that's some good stuff. Yes. Okay. Now with our new ability to dive deeper, there are some things that we can do. The 
The first of which is right here. My opponent is still waiting for me. Um, the first of which is right here inside the Lakeside Laboratory. There's this old dude here. Okay. But uh, down here at the bottom... Well, not the bottom, but we need to try to get as close to the bottom as we can. Now with the golden scale, by the way. Subscreen. You can see that it is right here. Right below, right there, golden scale. Okay. All right, so let's dive. Before, I think it was six. The amount of basically seconds in which we could dive. Now it's eight. In those two additional seconds, I hope I hope I got the numbers right. Uh, allow us to obviously dive deeper. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. And I'll give this to you. There you go. We have a piece of heart. Thank you, sir. Now, there is another place that we can go that will also use our ability to dive deeper. This place, however, is not in like Hylia. Um, it's out in Hyrule Field, just to the northwest of Lon Lon Ranch. So here we go. Let's jump the fences. Coming up on your left, you will see the exit for Gerudo Valley. Straight ahead, you see one of the ten Poes. Of course, we talked about it in the earlier installment, how you can collect all ten Poes and get your fourth bottle that way with a dealer in that gatehouse where we got all those rupees before. All right, this tree right here. All right, just ahead is the castle area. Just this way, that's Lawn on Ranch. Check out the map, see the yellow triangle. All right, stay here, girl. My controller is vibrating right here by this tree. We need a bomb. Blows open. Another secret grotto. We go down. First off, Tech Titan of Water. We'll dispense with him. With extreme prejudice. Alright, he's gone. Down below, in the water, guess what's waiting for us? Of course, you do want to try this with the golden scale. You will not reach it with the silver. And there's a piece of heart waiting for us. Nice. All right, girl, hold on. Here we go. Oh. We are going to slowly, so to speak, make our way to Death Mountain. I see you. Sorry, we're not collecting pose today. Come back when we're open next time. Alright. Alright, girl, you stay here. She'll be waiting for us next time we come out to the... Okay. Not exactly the biggest cash prize there. She'll be waiting for us next time we come out to um, Hyrule Field. Okay, going up to the village. That was crazy. I've debated long and hard on whether to go fishing with you guys. It can be hit and miss. Literally hit and miss. You could hit one, like the 20 pounder we just landed, or you get a bunch of sevens, okay? A little bit of luck, a little bit of know-how, kind of knowing where the big one is, 
being able to spot them from afar helps, but it's not it's not like the, a perfect system. A lot, sometimes a fish at a distance, they all look pretty similar. So, okay, yes. A new feature they've added. Boulders rolling down and smacking us right in the face. I just love it. Um, hey, it's just part of the game. Here we go. All right, so going to the right right here. That sign said to Goron City. Which is exactly where we're going. I don't think we've done it yet. Let's do it since we're here. Okay, Song of Storms. It's so similar to the Sun Song. Because they both have the second and third notes. It's down, up, down, up. So, you play the Song of Storms right here, right outside the entrance to Goron City. And Secret Grotto, Grotto appears. Okay. Another one of these things. Let's see what's waiting for us here. Don't be a blue don't. Okay. I'll take it. Nice. Honestly, I forgot what was in that chest. So getting 200 rupees, you know, for 10 seconds worth of work. That's, that's nice. Okay. So here we are. First things first, right out here in the middle, kind of gent. Gently and carefully walk your way across the tight ropes. Okay. Can you guys hear it? Hear it? Now you kind of see it. The camera angle. Kind of forgiving there. I'm going to carefully turn back. Take out my hook shot. Ah, look at that. A gold skull teller. Okay. It's right here on the back of that little round thing right there. Yeah. All right. There are these rolling Gorons. Okay. Spinning around. And I'm trying to show them to you. Is he going to be coming? All right. I don't see him right yet, but we will. We will. Okay. Okay. We need to find one of these. Oh, shoot. Yes. Yeah. I landed that. Oh, oh. Hello. We need to uh, stop him in his tracks. This is another thing where historically I have not been the best at this. And he's going this way. Um, it's, again, hit and miss. But, you know, I'll do my best to not completely screw it up for you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I almost had him. So close. How could you do this to me? You are one of Ganondorf's servants. My, hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. That's right. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dandango Buster and hero, Link. My dad is Dardunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're the hero to us Gorons, and I'm glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this, but... Will you please help everyone? My dad, Darunya, went to the fire temple and the dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> you better try and claim him. You better try and calm him down before you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? Oh, we're gonna, you basically got to do both. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvaga living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary, and he ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know, because my dad is a descendant of that hero. All right, wait. 
we need to calm him down even more. So we gotta talk to him some more. This time, let's ask him about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by the dragon. Dad said that Ganondorf was revi had revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to the dragon. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Link. But I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. That's why we're here. We got the Goron tunic. And... Little Prince Goron... Also opened that up. Thanks, brother. Alright. Check it out. We finally got a change of clothes. Can you imagine how many years Link's been wearing the same stuff? Yes, we now have our fire tunic. Nice. Looking good. Okay. Which is basically, it's both heat and uh, fire is Well, somewhat fire and lava resistant. It helps. This door, of course, like when we were a kid, comes to this inner chamber, kind of the throne room, where we met his dad. And this time, however, dad's not there. Like, like you said. But, we can drag back this big thing. We're big now. We can do that. Plus, as a kid, we didn't even know it was there. No timer. Okay? We are now resistant to the heat of this crater. I'll take that. Okay. So, another key element that we need for this area is your hookshot. Just to scale our way across. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power. And through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. You have learned the Bolero of Fire. Link, I'll see you again. Okay, that song will return us to this warp point right here. Okay. Prelude of Light. Yeah, I had to go look. You know how I am with these songs. We're gonna warp to the Temple of Time. Oh, crud. We do, we do not currently have bugs. Alright, another time. We can do this, though. This is a song that we just learned. Okay. The 
Bolero Fire. It's that red eighth, eighth note inside of the menu there. This will warp us to death cr to uh, to the crater, Death Mountain Crater. And the timer will start immediately. There's a soft soil spot right here. Gotta get out our magic beans. Plant them. <laughs> I'm the worst for these songs. For anyone who's annoyed by that, sorry. Uh, I, you know, I gotta luck every time. I'm not one of the people who can just memorize that. Now, if it were real music, and I was playing my saxophone or, or drums or something like that, that's a much different story. I can sight, read, memorize, and learn music very quickly. This is somehow different. <laughs> it's arguably easier, but different. Okay. Grabbing our sword. Remember, we planted the magic beans. Now we've traveled seven years into the future. All right, there we go. Bolero Fire brings us back to Death Mountain Crater. Yes, we want a warp there. So, the magic bean that we planted will now be this magic leaf. Jumping off pretty soon, right away, brings us to this right here. There's a piece of heart up here. And that gave us a whole new container. Pretty cool, huh? Definitely wanted to use those magic beans. They can lead some really good stuff in to the fire temple we go. Here we are, inside the fire temple. This is kind of the the entrance room. And if we look around, I can already see a... Um, one of those lovely guys. <laughs> he got me anyway. Um, this is the entrance room. At the top of these stairs, there are two doors. One is locked. We don't have a key yet. So that we can't go that way. There's also a little foreshadowing here. This looks interesting. We'll get to that in a little bit. We don't have the tool to open that just yet. However, this door is opened. Let's go on through. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you. But now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Vavagia. On top of that, he's going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to the other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead and try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking this of you as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction, and I'm counting on you, Link. All right. I love how these future sages always say, 
I'm gonna go on ahead and try to do they I, I'm not sure if they actually ever do anything but all right exit stage left he's gone so what do we do we go to the left he said save my people and there's one of his people see right behind the bars there one of the easy this is the easiest one to get obviously are you releasing me am I free to go I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where did, or where are doing <laughs> Sorry guys. In order to get into the room where doing you went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to the room above the ceiling right away. Again. A steaming bowl of foreshadowing. And we got our first key. I think we should use it in that locked door that we saw. So, what is he talking about? A big pillar? Right there. Massive pillar that goes up a couple stories at least. So, we will be freeing that again when we have the right tool. If you do fall in the lava, it's not the end of the world. You will not die immediately or burn to a crisp. It will take a little bit of health. Just climb your way out. So straight across, ah, there's a locked door. Key number one, door number one. Okay, this room is the big lava cavern and there's a couple of small keys in here and I think maybe one goodie. So left and right, bridge goes straight across. Couple, you, know, you can get there however which way you want. Sometimes you can kind of just rock your way along the edge like this that works well enough Navi's trying to tell us something and we'll find out what it is this will become very familiar there's lots of these little hallways if you will that lead to another Goron saved yes I'm releasing you and here's another secret the wall that you can destroy with Goron's special crop will sound different with your sword special copper bombs and yes when you hit it with your sword it has a metallic sound and not just rock so it masquerades as rock but these uh these walls that he's talking about are fake walls that we can blow up and we will so all right we went to the bottom of that section right however navi's desperately trying to tell us something Every darn time. So playing the Song of Time, there's a time block in front of us, just up. And it's moving that down in front of the doorway that we just went through to get the Goron. Now we can actually climb that time block. We do this at least twice in this. All right, this is the first of a couple rooms that are like this. These flying tiles come at us. I just stay here, shield up, and let them come at me. They explode on impact. Boom. Next up, fairy bow. Wait till he stops and two strikes, he's gone. See you later, dude. Oh, thank you. Okay, this is why we're here. Look at that. Another gold scotella. So now we exit this room, bringing us back to the lava cavern. And remember, we could go left and right. We went left, which means that we need to make our way straight across to the right side. Again, go whichever way feels good to you. Sometimes I just kind of go for it straight across. Without a care in the world. Yeah, there we go. Uh, like I said, the lava won't hurt you that much. You fall in. Just get out as quickly as you can. Now, the wall. That's one of them. Okay. Now what? Listen. Let's 
See how they sound different? That's what he was talking about. We blow it. And go on through. Remember, now this is the right side. We were on the left. We went straight across. And guess who's waiting for us? Second key in this section. Third key overall. All right, so yeah, we're freeing him. He wants to tell us another secret. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use a special prop. You can also use your hook shot. Do these like crystal switches that he's talking about. Cool. Oh, pff. do not leave without our prize. something all right now if my bearings are correct and I believe they are remember that bridge went straight across this room across that bridge waiting for us is a locked door we're going on through okay so this room by the way love that you can slide in that for that part this room there is this giant pillar of fire Okay. We need to turn that into an elevator. To do that, though, we need to climb up these, which, by the way, you can use your hook shot on this kind of uh, met metallic fence thing. I'm not going to waste any arrows here. Whoops. Yes, thank you, Natty. Kill the keys with hookshot this giant block right here looks a lot like the ones in the forest temple right what we can do is we can push we can grab it keep pushing it lands on the pillar of fire and becomes an elevator when the flame goes up so do we going up Okay, this room, kind of a multi-level room, which requires multiple things to get through it. Kill these guys if you want. I think they're called like torch slugs or something like that. I just kind of avoid them. Barrel on. There's a switch we need to activate, but don't do it yet. You're wasting your time. First, push this block like, we, like you see. Okay. Once you do that, hop on down. You can see right on the floor there, right? Perfect place for it to be. There we go. Now, once we have this block, we can actually climb this. Hey, right, check it out. See that? Can't get through that, okay? Obviously. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Yes, a bomb is a pretty darn good way. It does use one of your bombs, but it does give you extra time. Because a lot of times, I will use the hook shot, right? And I actually have to be quicker. With the time that a bomb takes to explode, you know, as the fuse goes down, that gives you a little extra time to, to book your way up. You make it up the grate before the flame comes back. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> You like that one, bud? All right. Um, I know. Stupid. Okay. This is a giant boulder maze room. Okay. This wall sounds funny. Let's blow it up. Got another one. Gold skull teller. Making our way around this side of the room. Running into boulders as we go.
Yes, you're free to go. He's got another secret for us. When you're on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or rolling forward. Did you know that? It's like the dude's afraid we're gonna catch fire. As you recall, we went the right direction around this room. Okay. The back of this room, there's a locked door. And we'll need to go through that door. I'm going to keep making my way for now, though. We're going to come back to that. As you can see, it is very maze-like. Quite amazing. No more puns. Okay. And check it out. Yes, you're free to go. And he's got another secret for us. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. One of these doors tries to fall, move. If you use a sample of the special crop, you can blow up. Yeah, so there are these fake doors. Okay. And like the wall, the fake wall, you use a bomb to dispense with the fake door. That's the game's little tip for us. Okay. Uh, you yeah, know, we're going the other way anyway. Silly boulders. Okay, remember, we made our way to the back of this room. We went past this door to the other side of the room. Got that additional key. We got two keys right now. Save two Gorons. Got a gold skull. Tulla. Basically what you need to do on level one. Okay. Of this room. The boulder maze room. However, there is a second level. We will be there shortly. Let's open up this door. All right. Narrow bridge. You don't want to fall down. It'll take a little while to get back up. So. Ah. I really want to shoot that. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, so yeah, you shoot the eye. Try to hit it the first time. Okay. We came all this way. Shot the eye. Opened the door. What could this be? That's right. We've got a dungeon map. All right, so we have our map. Go to our sub screens. You can see where we've been, the blue sections. That outline section there, that is that those blocks that I showed you in the entrance room we can't get yet. That's kind of a place that we'll do later. And then uh, second floor, oops, third floor where we are now four and five this place is big okay so with small key in hand we have one left careful not to fall we go on through this is the flaming wall room if you will um lava on the floor grates above Every time you jump in that grate, Link turns around in surprise going, uh, what in this? And then that happens sometimes. We're going, we're going. Um, that's just bad timing. See, I get to talking. So basically, make your way across before the flaming wall hits you. You can see it's coming at us right there. Finishing its path across the room. But we did make it in time. All the way across, jump across, grab the heart, through the door. This is the second level of the bot of the uh, boulder maze room. We were down there. We made our way around Goron Goron Gold's Gold Tella locked door. Now we are here. So there's more we have to do up here. One of which is right here. Oh, I would love it if that blows him up. Yeah, baby. All right. 
when you blow this floor of the second level here, it opens up this vertical corridor. When you climb down, did I just see something? I really hope it's that glitch again. No, okay. When you climb down, hit the switch. Remember the room where we pulled out the block, stopped the little wall of flame and stuff, and we're about to approach that room. This is a future shortcut. If you have the need, like we mentioned earlier, if you fall down something like that, to backtrack, you can now shortcut your way right back through here instead of going through several other sections. So we're freeing him. He's telling us about these fire dancers. These are a couple of mini bosses in this dungeon. So he's telling us uh, how to defeat them. And, and we'll be seeing that shortly. Let's definitely get this chest. Because we need that key. So remember, I mentioned this room. As you notice, see, the block is actually not even there. Fun. Okay. But yeah, that's where we did that. So let's climb back up. We still have more to do on the second level of the boulder room. Right above the maze. Okay, he would love to get me with me. All right. I'm going to jump across here. Yeah, baby. I always feel I'd like a leap of faith with these. Please land it. Okay. And, and he does. He gets it right at the nick of time. Every time. We are making our way to this side of the room. So remember, when we came into the boulder maze, we, there's right and left. We went right, made our way all the way around to the left. We're technically on that, if you want to give it a name, a left side right now. So. Oh, get up. Oh, don't fall. Okay. After dispensing with that guy, we talk to this Goron. And of course, he has another secret. If you find a place that you can see on the map, but you can't reach it by playing your ocarina. We're actually going to do that in a moment. Back up to two keys, nice. Okay, so we jump across. Gonna make our way over to here. And up comes our Scarecrow. Which we can now pull up to here. There's a hookshot target across the way. Brings us to an elevator. This is one of a couple secret rooms. Here, Skultella. Making sure I didn't miss him. Is he up there? Yeah. All right. So going up. There he is. Gold Skultella. In this secret room. You can only access by having the Scarecrow song. When you play that song, create that song, 
for um, when you create that song back when you're a kid and then revisit him as an adult um, he'll remember that and then he'll tell you another goals Kotella that you can use the scarecrow song there is a huge rupee right up here and it takes a little bit of doing this switch shuts off the flame I'm gonna give it a try just for once why not if I don't succeed well I don't really need the rupees that badly oh, I'm not high enough I'm not gonna make it nope so what you can do is, it's right over here, okay? You hit the hook shot in time. I don't need the rupees. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time doing it. But inside that chest, when the wall of flame goes down, climb a little higher than I did. Hit with your hook shot. Blitz over. You'll make it barely in time. Believe it or not, after these two secret rooms, two gold skull tellas, we got there using the Scarecrow song, Chump. I know, believe it or not. Okay, so after you land, go through this door again, back to the flaming, the wall of flame door. Try not to do that. So what you can do is, this jump looks impossible, okay? But it actually works. Climb over here, see the two hearts backtrack a little and believe it or not jump and you will make that jump kind of doesn't look like you will but you will when you do you climb up here this room this has a bunch of invisible walls flames a couple of bum doors um, also right here that is the top of the pillar that we saw from below okay this room has two sides this side and that side you little punk um, thank you Navi's trying to tell something just kind of head to the right first take it slowly making sure that you don't run into one of these at first invisible and then the flames shoot up and you don't don't want to hit them all right when you head to the right immediately this is where you get your compass okay with compass in hand we're going to make our way to the left side of the room it's not officially left but I'll, we'll call it that can I go through here? Yeah. Just take it, take it slow. Don't fall down that hole. That is a fake door. See? Okay. Oh, no, it's good. Take it slow. Oh, can't go that way. Can't go that, that way. Here we go. Oh, I've never memorized this. You're kidding me? I've got better things to do with my life. Um, I, in fact, I, I like the touch of suspense that it gives you, right? I, I like figuring it out each time. Oh, you see that? Navi is glowing green. She's trying to tell us to play that song of time. There's a time block up on this ledge. Okay? So, um... and brings that, that time block down to this level. This is important later because there are little sections we need to go through. One's there and one's over there. There's a rusted switch. A switch that we cannot trigger yet, but we will. So with Song of Time taken care of, we're now out on this side of the room. It's a, kind of the other side and not today, buddy. 
There is another flaming wall that'll take you out. And oh, thank you. Oh, see it right there. Okay. You can turn it off by hitting the switch. Immediately turn around, head straight into your right. Run, 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 and through. Booyah. Made it just in time for that wall came back up. Oh, come on. Bombs and hearts. Exactly what I needed. Thank you. All right, so going through the door. Let's see what lies it. I had... Yeah, the bomb, the bomb. The game was like, hey, you need bombs, and then what do I do? I run right into a door like a chump. Okay. See ya, dude. Alright, there's the real door. <laughs> We're having fun now. Okay, remember I mentioned the fire dancers. There he is. You're gonna need your hook shot for this one. Ah, oh, I almost had him locked, and I was going to use my shield. Didn't get it. Yeah, if you lock onto him and use your shield as he's coming by, you can deflect all the, uh, the pain that he would have given you. Like that. Almost, almost had it. I'm My dog is barking. Dog, you're distracting me. Okay, he's gonna come around again. the opposite direction. Oh, he's, he's back. Alright, here we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Use your hook shot. Grab the head, slash away, slash and burn. No nope, pun intended. He, he's already burning. Here we go. Shouldn't be too much more. Keep wanting to do a. Yeah, he's too quick. I keep wanting to do a forward slash on this guy. You can see how he's changing color each time. Oh, darn it. I should have just stayed locked on the whole time. That was my fault. And I knew better each time as I went back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, you know, why aren't you just staying locked on him? That was my inner monologue. But we got him. Okay, so that's Fire Dancer. When you dispatch with that sucker, climb on up where he was, where that pillar of fire was. This is an elevator. Bring us to another level. Ah, a switch. Another switch. Okay, like before. Just like before. Wall of Fire. That switch is right below me. 
dropping a bomb. Gives me a little bit of time. Triggers a switch. Fire down, we go up. Cool. Okay. Going through. Aha. Here it is. I swear. Of most of the entire game of Ocarina. It is this one moment that I fear doing with you guys. Because <laughs> one wrong move, I go too fast, I turn just slightly to the right and I fall. So, what am I talking about? This. This big old ascending staircase to where there's a wall of flame surrounding a chest that we need. This opens it, and you have barely enough time to make it. So what do you do? We rage on, and we give it a try, and we do our best, right? Every, it makes me so nervous. So, Megatron Hammer. That's why we did that. This sucker's awesome. Fantastic weapon and tool. Fantastic. Hey! Jerk. Alright. Let's activate that puppy. I like to put it right where I had my bombs. Bottom button makes sense in my mind because I think about smashing down on something, therefore I want it on my down button. It's just how I think. I bet you there's a couple of you guys who think the same way. Alright. Once... Oh, don't. With that in hand. We make our way across the top part of this room. Back to basically where we started. There's that door just to the left there. With the Megatron hammer, we can now do things that were impossible before, like that. Okay? We can knock that down. We can also do this. Does this look familiar? And they're gone. Oh, this, we this weapon's fantastic. Okay, in this room, I crap a load of keys. Dispense with them so they don't bother you. Thank you. All right. The other goal here. Oh, let's just take care of this first. Pounding on this reveals a hidden staircase. Where's that keys? Way over there. I do not want them bothering with us as we uh, do what we need to do here. Okay, and what do we need to do? After revealing the hidden staircase, taking care of the keys just for the heck of it, um, grab a crate, kind of like we did in Jabu Jabu, and carry this puppy on down. That's fun, jumping with a crate in our hand. Triggers a blue switch. Blue switches require something heavy, like we used Princess Rudo before, or a crate inside of Jabu Jabu. Anyway, holds it down. Once again, it's hammer time. You know I had to say it. Now that we have that handled, ah, this switch looks rusted. It is. That raises the bars on that door. Meanwhile, behind us, Okay. The oh, don't you dare. Okay. This, don't stand on it. Just stand next to it and pound away. Had we stood on it, that would have taken us down, 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 down. Like, yeah. A lot of backtracking. 
because we're not done in this section would have to be accomplished. So, no. Uh, just stand next to it. Pound away. That is that pillar. We got it. So, remember the time block, okay, that we played, and there was that Goron that was behind the bars earlier. Okay, there's a rusted switch. I did mention it. We now have the tool to easily take care of the rusted switch. Which then opens up this. We got the Goron. He's got another secret for us, of course, right? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance of this temple. But Goron's spectral crop won't work on it. You have anything stronger? Okay. Those are those, uh, you'll see. Um, I showed them to him when we first came to the entrance room. Oh, yeah. Got another key. Cool. Okay. At this point, we went ahead straight back to the entrance room. One of the quickest ways to do it is to go through the path that we just opened up, which is right here. Now, straight ahead, boss door. That's where Dardunio was standing before. We can't get there just yet, but we're close. However, this being kind of a shortcut back, right here, we're back in the entrance room. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Keys. Oh, I thought he was right behind me. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, you... You can tell by the way I'm pounding my buttons to get them. Like, oh, I just want to. So we got that key in the center of the uh, wall of flame room, so we can open this door. Because yeah, not only are there blocks there that you need the hammer, but there's a locked door behind it. Fun, huh? Thank you. Oh, you punk. Take care of everyone in this room. I'm saving my arrows for later. Of course, they keep taking hearts from me in the meanwhile, but I, I really, I don't, I can't promise that I'm going to get some arrows before, you know, I just, trust me, we're going to need them. During the dragon fight, we need them. So, therefore, I have five right now. That being said, and I've used quite a bit of arrows you've seen already, just sniping keys out of the air, so... Okay, once everyone's there, the bar is raised, and we get to go through the door. Ah, here we go again. Just like before, kind of coming full circle, aren't we, right? Another room with tiles, and this time, another like-like. Dispense with him. That was close. Um, let's get our prize. Another gold skull Leaving the tile room this direction. Here we go again. Fire Dancer 2. Shoot. I meant to... Okay, I keep trying to use my thing. Ah, 
Don't do that. Can't believe that was an auto climb right there. Oh, come on. I cannot get my, my hook shot out quick enough. Goes a lot quicker when we get the forge slash going. go fire dancer 2 once fire dancer 2 is gone chest appears let's see if I can get these bombs in time there we go arrows not bombs okay all right looking at our map we came through the other door you can see the red arrow on it we're gonna go through this door of course we're making our way and hey check it out we can now take care of the switch with our hammer. And look back there, what is that? That, my friends, is our boss key. Who's come to slay the dragon? That's right. We now have the key, and we're gonna do it. All right, let's talk to this sucker. All right, he's letting us know that We have a little bit more to go. Entrance. We stood right here as we entered. Entrance room. You remember we went left. We saw the Goron King. We went right. That was the, uh, the big lava cavern. Going left again. Let's unlock that door. Let's come in. Oh, there goes our way out. We're committed. Plays peekaboo coming up out of the holes. You need to get him. You can also shoot arrows as he flies through the air, and I'll just let you guys watch. Switch the sword. Okay, first strike, hammer, second strike, sword. And there he is. You can actually lock on and use a light arrow. It helps because he has a secondary move in the air. He drops all these lava boulders. But if you can snipe him with your arrows, he doesn't do that anymore. Peekaboo, peekaboo, and there he is. Hammer, sword. Hit him again. He should come up flying again, as dragons do. Oh crap, no. Oh crap, I'm. Wow. For example only, right guys? All right, if you don't snipe him in the head with an arrow, these lava boulders will fall from the sky. It's just throwing all this stuff at you. All right, he's going back down. That's what happens when you don't get that arrow in his head. Okay, so here we go again. One, two, and three. Sword out. 
Big forward slash. Okay. I'm out of arrows, so looks like we're going to deal with boulders, guys. And we're also dealing with our fairy bottles. This is why we have them. I told you I didn't have enough arrows, didn't I? Yep, Boy Scout I was not. But hey, we're going we're gonna to get with this guy real quick here. One, two, three, hammer, sword time. Told you. There you go. The Dragon of Death Mountain. Once again, the smoldering carcass of our enemy turns into life-giving heart for us. Love that. Heart, heart container. Always get it. Don't jump into the portal until you have it. It's portal time. The fire temple. It's a cool temple. controller is vibrating like crazy. Yeah. Remember that guy in the rooftop that gave us a heart for visiting him? So they you just saw that big smoke ring of fire. It's gone now. Pretty cool. Because we dispensed with the evil within. And there he is. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Dardunia, turned out to be the great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. You receive the fire medallion. Doinya wakes up as a sage and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. That's the fire temple. Immediately it drops us out right there on the warp pad that we can use to get to this area. If you want to get your way across, like to get back out to Death Mountain Trail or beyond, then um, you can use your hookshot to get away from there. Also, how, check this out. With the hammer. It, we now have access, or we have the ability. No. Uh, to dispense with. Um, there's a couple of three uh, business shrubs down here. Brown boulders. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's boulders in general. Not all boulders, but most of them. You can now strike them like the ones out in Hyrule Field. 
uh, some of the ones blocking fairy fountains. We can now just get rid of them. So cool. The ones in Goron City, for example. Boom. What's this? That's right. There all along was a great fairy fountain. So, what do we do? The Triforce Song. Zelda's Lullaby. <laughs> there she is. Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. So if you recall, this means nothing really, right? But it was only our magics get a double in size. That green bar of magic. So it went about halfway through our hearts before now it's gonna go. Here we go. Magic enhanced. Twice as much. Remember, you can always come back to these ladies if you're low on hearts and you don't have any fairies, that kind of thing, or milk, red, green potion. Point is, you can come back and they'll, they'll restore your hearts even when you're not being blessed by their... And uh, I need my hammer. So... One more quick thing, guys, and we are going to be done for today. Um, blowing that. Jumping across. I love being able to just take out boulders anytime we want now. It's wonderful. So now every time I see a boulder, I have to, like, get rid of it. Just, like, is there something down there? Something hidden? It's kind of like, you know, we're playing Breath of, Breath of the Wild and Tears. You know, th there was a saying for a while, like, no stone unturned. I've spent those hours. Everywhere I go, I'd pick up, you know, those medium to large, you know, those stones in front of us. Like, what's down there? <laughs> the hours, like, c cumulative over time as I'm playing the game, picking up those silly rocks. And then I'd chuck them because it's like, oh, there's nothing there. Oh my goodness, those games. Distractions. On my channel, you go to Loud Boy Gaming, right? My playlist. I must have 30 to 40 videos. Mostly about tears, some of them Breath of the Wild. A lot of them just the distractions I came across while I'm playing. Okay, so believe me guys, I've played these games extensively. I've played Breath of the Wild both emulation and on Switch. Of course, I played tears solely on Switch. But man, have I logged so much time. And I've made a lot of videos about that. So anyway, that's a, it's in a playlist called uh, Loud Boys Gaming. Check it out if you want. My Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild stuff. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the Fire Temple. You know, like you guys, I've played Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom probably hundreds of hours. And when you first get in the game, you discover that... We don't have hearts like we do in Ocarina of Time. We actually have to prepare meals. And our swords break. So annoying. I love to cook. Taught myself a lot about cooking. So what I was doing is I was actually trying to prepare real recipes at first. <laughs> a completely noob move. And then I think it was one of my sons. They're both in college. They both love Zelda. They both played both these games. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And one of them said something about like, you know, dad, there's actually real recipes in the game. You should use those. So there I was actually trying to, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at ingredients. I'm like, what can I make out of this? Right. You know, I got this ingredient and this ingredient. I was thinking like real world and I wasn't thinking like, what does the game want? And uh, it just, it kind of struck me as funny that I had it all wrong at first. And I was actually trying to make uh, my own original real recipes and a lot of them would just end in disaster while I was preparing for one of my new videos I had this idea like a lightning bolt out of the sky. It's an inspiration. I went up to Lon Lon Ranch and I thought What if I tried to cook something in Ocarina of Time? <laughs> so if you haven't seen it yet 
that's what we're going to end this video with. I made a video of my attempt to use Din's fire to make me a roast chicken. <laughs> that's right. I'll let you see how it turns out. It's not very good. But the point is, um, I gave it a try, and I, it was really fun to make. Guys, this has been a blast. This has been the Fire Temple. We beat the dragon. Drop your comments below if you got them. Like it, please, if you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. Join our little family here. We're having a lot of fun. This is Loud Boy. I thank you for joining me. You guys have a really good day.